Hey guys, it's Maya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure to go like and subscribe. This week, I have another editing video for you guys. So this is what we're going to be learning today. and TikTok to see my other videos. All right, to do this video, we're gonna start by filming. So I'm gonna film the same motion. One is gonna be from further away. The other one is gonna be a close up. You wanna make sure that the timing's the same, although you can fix this later. So we're gonna open up CapCut Desktop. If you wanna fast forward to the app version, it's in this video, just click on the chapters. I'm gonna start by cutting out all the videos I do not need and only keeping the ones that I do. Again, for this clip, you want identical clips, just one from the back and then one closer up. If the videos are the exact same timing, it makes it 10 times easier to edit, just letting you guys know. I am using a MacBook, so to expand the timeline, I'm just gonna zoom in with my two fingers. We're gonna start with a close-up clip. I'm gonna go to Remove Background, click Custom Removal. There's gonna be the Smart Brush and then the Smart Eraser. I'm gonna take the Smart Brush and start highlighting the picture that I'm using for this video and with using that smart brush it's gonna do stuff like this unfortunately you're just gonna have to go back in with the eraser and clean that all up and I know because I really be wanting to go to war with CapCut when it does stuff like that because girl we ain't got time for that it does take a minute to apply the cutout so just be patient with the program you don't want to move too fast because then it's gonna get messy and ugly and not cute now CapCut desktop is real good they need to update it real bad because for some reason I'm not able to see it without the background unless I hide the track I don't know if you guys saw that but I have to press V and then click it and then unclick it and then that way I can go in and clean up whatever I need to still clean up if that makes sense and then I'm gonna do the same process so I'm gonna go in with the smart eraser and just erase that if you watch closely here i'm hiding the track and then unhiding it and then it's going to show it without the background and then i can see where i need to go and clean it up some more so again going through that process of just cleaning it up i'm a perfectionist so of course i'm going to spend hours doing this when i'm happy with my results i'm just going to look through it and i'm actually going to go to the first clip and right where i'm pushing it forward i'm going to take that clip that's close up and cut out and I'm gonna overlay it. So basically I'm just adding it on top. And now this is where it gets a little bit tricky, but I'm basically gonna match that overlay on top so that they're the exact same. And then we're gonna use keyframes to lock that position in. So I'm gonna click basic and then the little diamond is the keyframes. And then as I'm pushing it forward, I am making the cutout bigger. It automatically adds keyframes for you, so all you have to do is worry about making it bigger as the clip goes on, and then you'll see me do that here. It's easier to do this when the video is paused and you're just clicking through the video and then making it bigger as you go. I realize that my wrist shouldn't be in that part because it makes it look less realistic, even though this is not really a really realistic video anyway, but it looks a lot cleaner when just my fingers are there, so I'm just gonna go in and clean that up again. Again, I don't know why CapCut's so stubborn and it shows the background, but I'm gonna use that V button to just make that go away. And you should get something like this. And then the last part that we have to do is the ending. So it's gonna be the exact same thing except in reverse. So we're gonna start out with it big, and then as we're clicking through the video, I'm shrinking it to make it smaller. And then again, this is using the keyframes tool, so it should automatically be adding the keyframes for you since we did that in the beginning. All right, perfect. And when you're done with that, you're just gonna look through it, make sure you're okay with it. I'm okay with mine, I think it looks pretty great. I can't spend any more time on this, quite frankly. Oh, well, I guess I did end up spending more time on this, which is surprising to no one. Let me know in the comments if you're a perfectionist. Let me know I'm not alone. But anyway, we're going to export this bad boy in 4K, and the ending video should look something like this. Now I'm going to show you guys the app version for those who use your phone. This is my cute cat. Her name is Kiwi. 
All right, first step is filming and Kiwi was being such a butthead. She wanted to be paid. Your two clips should be the same motion, just one close up and one further away. We're gonna start with the close up one, go to background removal, and then we're gonna click custom removal and basically remove everything that is not the cat. I like to use the quick brush and the quick erase because it's so fast and it's very easy to do. Now that the background's removed, I'm gonna create it as an overlay and then we're gonna use the key frames here, okay? so right where I'm about to push her out I'm gonna make the cutout the same size and then add a keyframe I'm then gonna make her bigger as the clip goes on so I'm adding keyframes as I go and then back small so it matches up and my timing was a little bit off so I had to cut the original video a little bit shorter so that my hands shrink at the same time the cat comes back to me and then I'm just playing around with this so you can't see her in the original clip if that makes sense and yeah don't ask me how I did this with a cat honestly this was god-given talent truly at the last keyframe you just cut it and then bow okay export in 4k and you have your video and that is it for this tutorial. Make sure to go follow my YouTube channel for long step-by-step -step videos and follow this account for more videos. Bye guys! And that is it for this tutorial. Again, make sure to go like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you want to follow me on my other platforms, they're going to be in the bio. I will see you guys next week. Bye! Red, but he spank me when I get back. I'm in LA, Vontale Drive. I'm in New York, Madison Ave. I'm a Barbie girl. Pink Barbie dream house. The way can be killing shit. I'm yelling out like the scream house. If you're yelling out, we ain't selling out. We got money, but we ain't lending out. We got bars, but we ain't billing out. In that pink Ferrari, we pillin' out.